This is how you can make your first UDC for you and your friends to wear, and you can even make millions doing it. Alright, first things first, you're going to want to come into Blender, go up here to Avatar, click Rig Builder, click Block Avatar, then you're going to want to come here to the left hand side of your screen, where it says Position, and just type 0. This will make sure it is centered in Blender. Then on the right side, you're going to want to right click on Rig, Export Selection. After you've exported that, you can go ahead and close Roblox Studio. Then you're going to want to open up Blender. You can drag over all this, click X, we don't need it. Come up here to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ, and then find your avatar. All right, after you import that, click G and then Z to move it up to where you want on the Z axis. What you're going to want to do next is click S, Z, scale that down, and then you're going to want to scale that down just on every axis, so it's small and right over his head. Alright, after you have this little cube, come over here to modifiers, the little blue wrench, click add modifier, search, type in mirror, on the X axis, which is good, click this little eyedropper, click your avatar, then you can go into edit mode by clicking tab click face select all right next you're going to want to click this face click e to extrude move it all the way out here move it all the way out to about here then you're going to want to move it down it's a little too far and then we'll move it back okay and then next you're going to want to come over here and click the little eye that will hide the avatar so it doesn't get in the way all right next you're going to want to click Control r and then it'll, it'll bring up this little line, this yellow line. You're going to want to scroll up three or four times. I think that's good. Click, and then right click. And then you can come over back to the eyedrop. You can undo that. Then you're going to want to click G, and then Shift Y. That'll bring that up over here about, about right there, I think is good. Okay, and then when you're on line select, you're going to want to click Alt, click this line, G, Shift Y again, and then just adjust it to where you think is good, good fitting for the head. And then do that for this one too. You're going to Alt click, G, Shift Y. Okay, then you can move that, scale that around his head. I think that looks pretty good. You don't need to worry so much about how well it fits. As long as it looks decent, it should be fine. Okay, so actually I want this a little more down. So what I can do, I can click this line right here. I can press G, Z, and I can move that down. Actually, I'm, I want to move that down a little bit more. All right, after you have this little headband thing, actually, I want this a little thinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click A, S, and then Y. That'll scale it on the Y axis, and then I'll make it a little bit smaller. All right, now you can go back into object mode, and here we have a little headband for the character. All right, next, after we have that, we can click Shift-A, Mesh, Cylinder, and you can move that up around here. Okay, then you're going to want to S, scale that down. You can move that down a bit, too. All right, I think that looks good. And then you're going to move this a little bit over here, just a little, so it's not, like, too close to the middle. Okay, then you can click R and then Y. Hold control while you do this so it rotates it better. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, then we can move this down a little bit. Okay, and then, then you're going to want to go into edit mode, click face. You can press G, Z, Z, so double click the Z, and it'll move it on the axis. Alright, then we're going to want to curve it, and then how we can do that is press control R. You're going to want to scroll up. So there's like five little circles and then after we have five circles you want to click right click and that's all you need to do and after that you want you're gonna after that you're gonna want to come up here to this little circle thing and you're gonna want to click that then you're gonna want to alt click the middle line and then press G and then now it'll bring up this little circle thing so you can curve it however you want the smaller you go, the less it adjusts. So if I put it small, 
it won't touch anything down here. But if I put it bigger, it'll adjust the whole thing. I like to go about like about right here, so it doesn't move the ends. It doesn't move quite the ends, but it still gets a little rotation. Actually, I think this will work. All right, and then after that, I think we're that's all we need to do for that. We can click Shift A, UV sphere, and then we can move that upwards. Scale that down. Oh wait, unclick, unclick this little circle, we don't want that anymore. Scale that down, and then you're going to want to press G, Shift Y, and that'll move it on this axis. Then we can scale this up a little bit, I think that looks good, just make sure it's not sticking out. And actually, I think this is a little too small, so let me scale this up, G to move this up. Right, I think that looks a little better. And then by the way, you'll probably have this little piece sticking in the bottom that you can't see. So what you can do is click wireframe. Yeah, and this is what I'm talking about. It's like curved right here. You don't want that. It'll stick out the bottom. So you can click line select, alt click, R, Y, and then just even it out. And then you're going to want to move it so it only stays in the headband. All right, now that we have this, we can then go to the modifier again, click add, search, mirror add that and then it'll look like this but that's fine keep it on the x-axis click the eyedropper and then again click the blocky avatar all right and after we have this simple model we can then come over to uv editing first thing you're going to want to do come down here to material press new then click this little yellow dot next to the white bar click image texture open and then find that color palette that is linked in the Discord below. You can also find your own color palette, That's that'll work too. But yeah, and any color palette will work for this. As long as you have green on there, you should be fine. Okay, then you're gonna wanna come to this little like Y up here, this little circle thing. It'll show all the, it'll show all the axes, and then you're gonna wanna click Y. It doesn't matter like, all right, after you do that, you're gonna wanna click A, then you're gonna wanna click UV project from view. And then your item is going to show up in the left side where your color palette should be saved. And then after that, you're going to want to press S, X, and then scale that down. And then also do that on the Z axis. Alright, after that, you're going to want to find a good green. I think this one might look good. Also, before I forget, hold down Z when your mouse is over here, and then go to Material Preview. That'll show you what it looks like. So I think that green looks good. I don't think we need to do anything else, but there's a small little gradient, as you could tell, from bottom to top. I don't know if you can see that. It goes from dark green to light green, and that's how this works. That's why you should be doing the project from view. All right, and then another thing you can do to make it look better is come up here to face, shade smooth, and it'll smoothen out your surface. All right, and then after that, you're gonna wanna do the same thing for the headband. So click your headband, click new, press the yellow dot, image texture, open, and again just find your color palette, and then you're going to want to do, do the same thing. So click the Y, UV, project from view. Alright, and now that we have this, we, we don't need it to be big at all. So you can click S, and you can click zero. Zero will make it very, very, very small, since we don't need a gradient on this. So we'll just do one base color. I think that looks good. Maybe a little darker. All right, so I think that looks good. Maybe we could scale the headband a little bit. A little bit that way. And then we will also shade this smooth. Okay, after that, you're gonna wanna come over here to your modifiers and then click apply and apply both of them. All right, and then after that, you can delete. All right, and after you've done that, you're gonna wanna come up here to file, export, OBJ. All right, and after you've exported that, you can come over here into Roblox Studio click import 3d and then you can find your model and just click it after you've imported that it'll show up something like this now we can just drag that over his head and then we can just do any adjustments needed make sure it fits right and in case when you try to move it and it just moves like too much like over what you want you can come up here and click this move button and then click and then you can adjust it to whatever you need 
just gonna move this over here and then make sure it's centered. You may even need to scale it up a little bit. All right, now after you've done that, you can come up here and click the avatar tab, click accessory fitting tool, and then you can click on your headband. Then you're gonna wanna click next, click accessory, and then click hat, then click next. And then you're gonna wanna adjust it over here and make it look good in here. So you're gonna move it here it'll, and then look over here. All right, I think that looks good. All right, and then after it looks good, you can click this little arrow. Make sure you do this, this is an important step. And then click generate legacy accessory, not mesh part. You don't wanna do mesh part. It'll mess up your entire thing. And then click generate legacy accessory. All right, and here is your accessory almost fully done and we're ready to upload it. So what you're gonna wanna do to upload it is right click on it default save to roblox and then click avatar item and then where it says choose one click that hat after it says validation succeeded that is all you need to do and then you can change your description and title to whatever you want and you can submit it and there you go there's your first udc item ever made i would recommend making more and more udc items until you get really good at it and you will actually start seeing your first sales come in Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.